everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at the 1985 Cobra Night Landing. Someone requested a review of this in the Q&A. This isn't a full review, but I thought maybe a quick look at it might suffice for now. This is a very popular small vehicle, and it's easy to see why. Uh, it's really cool looking. It's dark blue. Uh, the stickers on this one have seen their better days, but it does have an 878 in the same style as the 788 on the Hiss tank. Uh, but this is a really nice small vehicle. You can definitely use this for your Cobra Troopers, your Cobra Saboteur to sneak into your G.I. Joe bases at night and sabotage them. This can be a bit tricky to collect because it does come with a lot of loose parts that don't connect to anything. It comes with this radio that is hollow on the inside. But of course your Saboteur needs this to contact his base. In addition to that it comes with a shovel a shovel that does not look like it would fit in an action figure's hand. And then it comes with a black knife, a great big combat knife. But of course, all three of these pieces do not uh, connect to anything. There's no obvious place to store them. So of course, I usually just put them in the raft and leave them there until needed. On the raft itself, it has a machine gun that does pivot. Um, it has a couple, uh, looks like wooden planks here for seats. We've got oars that are attached to the boat. Uh, looks like those oars are too big to fit in an action figure's hand, but of course you can still pretend that the figure is rowing. It has an outboard motor with a propeller that spins, and that will turn as well. So this boat can move in under motor power, or if it needs to move into the beach silently, it has the oars for that. Will it float? For that, you'll have to wait for the full review. But for now, let's put all this equipment in the boat, uh, back where it belongs and let's do what we all want to do with it anyway and put Firefly right behind that engine uh, so he can maneuver into G.I. Joe territory and sabotage their home base. Firefly, of course, looks great in the night landing. This is a vehicle that almost seems like it was made for him. That was a quick look at the 1985 Cobra night landing. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will join me for more vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.